balls Coach, at the end of the day Steve that's Michaels, playing. Michaels and Bicycles. Are the rumors true about you retiring after this season? Yes, but absolutely. You can't leave. What about me? Where will I go? Whose nope. couch will I stay on? How will your retirement affect the Texans you long term? How did you, Do how? you ever think about how your choices will hurt those who love you? No, listen. One, I, I didn't even not. know you were sleeping on my couch. A. B. It's fine. It's not the first time I've been abandoned by someone I care about. So long, coach. I listen. Wee. Okay. Listen, I have an opportunity to move on to some different pastures, and I don't really want to talk about it right now, but we'll talk about it at the end of the season. Okay? But yes, this will be my final season coaching the, the Austin football Texans. Okay, I'm sorry, Stephen Michaels. It's been a while, boys. Do you remember how to play? Good question. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the final playoff run for the Houston Texans. This is the last time that I'll play Madden. This is the last Madden franchise I'm gonna do for a while. All right, gentlemen, listen up. Listen up, okay? I, I know this ain't been easy. This ain't been easy. It's been a long, hard road. We had a lot of injuries this year. But we came back, we overcome. And I know a lot of people have been talking about why the hell did we trade our entire future of this franchise? And why the hell is half my body missing? I don't know. There's some questions I can't answer and there's some questions that only God can answer. Okay, that's one of them. But one of the questions that I can't answer is, I traded the entire future of this football team because I have an announcement to make to y'all. This will be my last season coaching the Houston, uh, <clears throat> the Austin Texans. It's going to be my last season out here coaching y'all, and this playoff run is our last run. I know we ain't won a Super Bowl yet, but we're going to go out there, and I want y'all to go put it all on the line, okay? That's all I can ask for. Win, lose, and different don't matter, okay? All that matters is you give your best. Now, consequently, if you give your best, I expect to win. So if we lose, then I know that you didn't give your best. So if we lose, I'm going to be pissed at you, and I'm probably going to hate you all for the rest of your lives, okay? So go out there, play your damn ass off. We're going to win the damn ball game, okay? AJ Dillon, break him out. Let's do this. Been long enough, chat. It's game time. Coach, I am okay with your decisions, but do you have the energy to win this game? After blowing your load 16 times today, what's left in the tank? No, I. That ain't true. I just said. I just said some horseshit. Oh, easy pick already. Oh my gosh, Carson wins. <laughs> just the first, first play. Mar Jackson. Boom. J T Murray, the rookie tight end. Michael Gallup? Ooh, nice! Oh wait, but that was third down. Oh, frick. Oh, God. Drake! Oh, frick. Oh, my. What? That was terrible defense. Oh, my. Come on. Frick! What? Ooh, nice. Good D. Oh, hey, so something about the P.O. box. Apparently, people were saying that my P.O. box was full and they were getting freaking touchdowns. Do we super sim? Or do we start it over? Wait, this is pretty good. Playing it from here is pretty good. Ooh, good hit. Sending the wrong plays? I don't think so. Oh. I should have handed it off. Oh. Nice! To the full... No, no, no! What? No way! No, he is down! Wait, he actually wasn't down? Oh, the elbow. His elbow, his elbow hit the ground. His elbow hit the ground before he dropped it. His knee didn't hit the ground, but his elbow did. Lemur, thank you for the 17 months. No, he was down, Chad. He was down. Okay, we're good. We are good. We're saved. So that challenge is successful one. 
And they'll run the option to start the drive. The quick feet by Jackson. Nice. And we're going to pass it to Godwin. To throw is Jackson. I'm just kidding. We're going to run it. Dance into his left. Oh, He's home of it. inside the 10. And Nice. Nice. Good. Converted and scored a touchdown. You look good, you feel good, you play you look you feel good, you play good. True. And get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're about that when he correctly fit. He's free going down the left side. It's a foot right. Dude, I hate whenever you if you sell out, if you press Y and you sell out, they like throw their whole body at it and they lose their momentum and they can't change their you know what I mean? Parts on a play like this, you know, you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet. <laughs> that was so sick. That was the sickest five yard run ever, dude. Let's go. Jet sweep. Debo. No. Frick. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Oh. Oh, that was so close. O line, hello, or D line, hello, where'd you go? Chat, listen, let me tell you about something, okay? I don't know if you've heard about this before, but it's called the rule of 14. Okay, so what the rule of 14 means, Austin's it's anytime you're within 14 points, no matter what, there's always a chance, okay? So here's a first and there's always a chance. Don't get rattled, don't get worried, don't get scared, it's going to be fine. They'll begin the drive with a run by Dillon. <gasps> AJ Dillon! What an animal, dude! What a monster! Oh my, first run of the game, 58 yards, dude. Play action. Let's run it up. It's the flag. Illegal touching? He stepped out of bounds? Now it's Jackson. Nice, beautiful throw. Beautiful catch for a touchdown. Lamar Jackson, what a play. I do over two so I can keep it, so I can get it within three points. So that chat, just believe. Believe. What? That is caught Michael Pittman with it. And they work this well up field across the field. What? This offense can move the football through the air. What do you mean sell it? Oh, 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 I got so lucky tripped. The right speed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess. Oh! Perfect timing user pick. Dom Melvin. The diving interception. Nice. Okay, here we go, chat. Turning it over. Drake, dude. Drake is an animal, too. Dude, I actually have two nasty running backs. Dude! <laughs> what is this? These guys are monsters. My running backs are insane. Okay, RPO. Run pass option. They're going to think it's a run? Okay. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Jonathan Jones. He's at the 50, the 30, 10, and he will bring it back. An interception return for a Colts TD. Here's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. Sliding out of the pocket. Oh my gosh, that was so scary. Oh, I thought that was a pick. Oh my gosh, that was terrifying. Okay, we're getting the comeback going, chat. Man, we are don't, we're not gonna have time to. If I if I win the Super Bowl today, we're not gonna have time to finish until tomorrow. Oh, user pick. Go, go. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was so sick. Okay. Nice. 
Nice, dude. But if they don't score now, if they don't get a Have some of this. Take this. Have some of this. There it is, dude. Taking the lead. I need to go for it. And that jolt puts them in the lead. To, to make it up, up three, so if they can kick a field goal, it's only a tie. Okay, there it is, dude. Now, defense has to hold. Defense has to hold. If defense holds, we win. Oh! My gosh! The instinct! Oh my gosh! Believers! Completely changes the game. Boom. Just like that. Easy. Touchdown. Wow. Easy, dude. Oh, ref. Ref. Let the kids play around. Bearded coach leading cow men to the Super Bowl. Throwing. No ice cream. Rule of 14. <laughs> Read option. Looking at that defensive end. If he sits, I hand it off. If the defensive end comes, then I go. He's coming. I'm going. Oh my gosh, clean. Game. Set up the block. Nice. No, 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 is in this game is just completely absurd at this point. Come on, AJ. Oh, oh, AJ did the god, dude. This is a grown man. Holy hell, dude. That was nuts. Boom. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. Insane, dude. <laughs> Terrible. What a game, actually. What a, dude, I missed the Madden streams, man. Vic, thank you for the... All right, thank you all for joining me today. Uh, obviously, we're incredibly proud of what this team was able to do. Uh, going out for the first playoff win of the season. Excuse me, the first... Uh, well, yeah, first playoff win of the season. So, uh... I did announce to my team prior to uh, prior to the start of the game that this is going to be my last season coaching. I will be retiring, and uh, this will be my last season coaching for the Houston, Te uh, the Austin Texans. Excuse me. Uh, I know it's very uh, it's a very emotional moment for me, and this was a hell of a game to start off on. I, and I do think that this is a championship caliber football team. Obviously, we had uh, we had damn near 400 yards rushing. I believe it was. Actually, we had more. We had more than 400 yards rushing as a team tonight. I and mean, that's some old school smash mouth football, okay? For real serious about that. So we went out there, we had, we had a, I mean, we had a heck of a show and we really did. So we think we can emulate that. I mean, we have a, we have a great team. I do think this is a championship team and hell, whenever I retire, I think whoever takes over is gonna have a, they're going to have an incredibly easy time on their hands. Why? Because I did all the heavy lifting myself. You know, I, I built this team from the ground up. Hell, we even moved this franchise to damn uh, uh, Austin. Hey, coach. Anyway, we can get Todd Gurley a prosthetic leg to fix his arthritis and get him back on the team. He could be a good hype man, if anything. With thanks, his agent. Hey, coach. Dipping Dotsman here. Now that you've announced your retirement, do you think the end of Ice Cream Gate is imminent? Okay, listen, one, Todd Gurley was an incredible athlete, and he still is. He has some injury issues, okay? I'd love to have him. Two, I, ice cream is for winners. 
I scream. You scream. What does that sound like? I don't know. I just said it for no reason. But listen, my point here is, is if you wanna if you wanna get ice cream, if you wanna earn it, you gotta go out there and earn it. Does that make sense? You gotta go out there and win a damn Super Bowl. You gotta win a damn championship and you can get some ice cream, okay? That's it. Thank you. We'll see y'all later. Alright, boys, listen up. Round two. We got three games left before we're world champions, okay? Three games until we become world champions. Two games till we go to get an opportunity to become world champions. One game before we have one game to get an opportunity to go become world champions. And two game. Okay, listen, here's what we have to do. I actually lost train of thought, but that's okay. Here's what we gotta do today. I like what we did last week. I like how we went out there, pounded the rock. That's, I wanna see more of that. Happy anniversary okay? is fan cozy. What is my wife doing in here? Shelly, get the hell up in the stands, okay? I'm coaching, unbelievable. I'm damn coaching the damn team. You're coming in here talking about our anniversary, okay? Anyway, so listen, we gotta go out there. I'm gonna keep doing what we did last week. We're gonna spread the ball around. We're gonna, AJ Dillon, Jalen Drake, and Lamar Jackson. I'm, all three of y'all are gonna have 100 yards again, okay? So help me God, that's what I wanna see. We're not gonna throw any interceptions for a touchdown. That happened last week. If that happens, Lamar Jackson, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you running gassers. I'm gonna have you run gassers on the field during the game. Halftime, when we come in at halftime, you're not even gonna have an opportunity to come out here and, and, and talk to the rest of the team. You gotta go out there and run in front of the whole damn 100,000 people in the stadium, okay? Embarrassment. Other than that, hell of a job. Let's go win this thing and work our ass towards a conference championship game. Let's do this. Uh, Lamar Jackson, break him out. Oh my gosh. Oh. Ooh. Oh my. What was that animation? Because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays. Oh my goodness. Space to run past the 20. And they'll have it in the red zone before tacking down. Ball on the 10. Throwing now it's car. And he's got it. Oh my gosh, dude. These guys are actually hard to stop. <laughs> no, I did. I'll tell you what though. A one-handed grab of that length. Talk about giving your team a little juice. Oh, big time. I mean, I like the a little juice. AJ Dillon. Lamar, I told you to call a damn timeout if you needed it. Why the hell did you do that, Lamar? Just call a damn timeout. You just Coach gave him three score. Third string water boy here. Can I get a raise? No. I keep spending most of my salary on giving ice cream secretly to the players. The players will kill me because I told you this. Slash 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 help me. You've been giving ice cream. No wonder we're playing like dog shit out there today. Listen. There is a very specific reason why we do not eat ice cream until we win a damn championship. If y'all are going out there under the table, over the head, or whatever the hell to the side, I don't even know what that even means, but listen, if you're going out there and you're buying damn ice cream from somebody, illegally contraband ice cream, then we're going to have issues. This is what I want, Thirst Ring Water Boy. I want you, A, I'm going to beat your ass. Two, I want a list of everybody who's bought illegal contraband ice cream on my desk tomorrow. Three, if you don't do it, I'm gonna beat your ass more, okay? D, you do get a default ass beating from me, courtesy of Coach S Fan. We gotta go win a damn game. Break them out. Uh, whoever the hell, I'm Devo, break them out. From the gun, it's Carr. He's letting it oh, fly from no. close. And that is caught one-handed. Oh, my. He pulled it in. Okay. It's okay, chat. It's only a four-point game. We got this. I don't think they have any choice. That's pulled in at the 32. Unable to correct. Oh! Oh! Oh, my gosh! What a play, dude! Oh my! That was amazing! That was amazing, dude! No way! 
defense here. You force the fumble. Think you got a chance at a turnover, and instead, not only do you give up the foot, dude, you also give up a touchdown. bounces off his knees into the guy in front of his hands. You force the fumble, but when they didn't come up, throws Jackson forced out to his left. Oh, nice. Past this divisional round, hanging by a thread. If that is a begin here with a first and ten, and he loses the football. The I do. I don't know. I, scoop it. And they are gonna take over right there the I don't know how that's happening. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't. Afford I genuinely don't know mistakes. how they're fumbling that much. What we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, down this big in the fourth yeah, I think they're just throwing at this yeah, point. Absolutely. Dude, what? I think they gave up, chat. Their season is over and they gave up. Okay. All right, gentlemen. Thank you all for joining me today. Uh, obviously, we're incredibly proud of the way this team performed and uh, went out there and won the game. It wasn't as close of a game as, as last week, but that's okay. You know, like I said, it's a... Uh, championship caliber football team. We went out there and I think we had seven turnovers in our favor. And uh, honestly, I mean, we expect to win those. Coach, Ash here from CNN Sports. What do you have to say about the allegations that you overinflated the footballs used by the Raiders offense to cause fumbles? No, that's not true. No. Rumors say that you were an experienced ball handler. Well, I mean, I, I've handled the ball or two in my day. You know, my great football expertise, absolutely. But uh, in terms of us overinflating the balls for the Raiders, no, that absolutely is not true. We did not do that. Uh, I, I don't know why they fumbled as much as they did, but hell, you, you know, when other teams make mistakes, you got to go out there and capitalize on them. You know, when they drop their balls, you got to go pick them up. It's just that simple. Okay? So if, if we can handle balls better than they can handle balls, Coach, at the end of the day, Stephen that's Michaels, the Michaels, Michaels and Bicycles. Are the rumors true about you retiring after this season? Yes, but absolutely. You can't leave. What about me? Where will I go? Whose nope. coach will I stay on? How will your retirement affect the Texans long term? How did you, Do how? you ever think about how your choices will hurt those who love you? No, listen. One, I, I didn't even not. know you were sleeping on my couch. A, B. It's fine. It's not the first time I've been abandoned by someone I care about. So long, coach. I listen. Wee. Okay. Listen. I I have an opportunity to move on to some different pastures, and I don't really want to talk about it right now, but we'll talk about it at the end of the season, okay? But, yes, this will be my final season coaching the, the Austin football Texans, okay? I'm sorry, Stephen Michaels. I am very proud of how well this team has developed in my time here, and uh, I think whoever comes in as the next head coach is going to have a, uh, an easy time taking care of it, and absolutely I do, so... Uh, I mean, really, other than that, I don't got much. I, I don't know who won the uh, won that other game, so I don't know who we're playing the conference championship. But we plan on going out there, winning the damn conference championship, and then after that, we plan on winning the Super Bowl. Okay, so we're gonna do that tomorrow. Third string water boy here again. So am I fired? I know we should talk about this later, but the Raiders offered me a job after seeing my expectational ice cream handling skills. You know what? Go 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 play for the go go work for the Raiders. Okay, they need all the damn help they can get. Okay, we just whip their ass. Okay, I'm gonna whip your ass anyway. You just go on over there. Okay, you can get you can get a figurative ass whooping, courtesy of me and the Austin Texans. Okay, get the hell out of my damn press conference room. Okay. Anyway, we appreciate all y'all being here. We appreciate all y'all being here today, and we'll see y'all next week slash tomorrow. For, for the conference championship game and for the Super Bowl. Okay, appreciate y'all.